Hi, I'm Matt Neal, one of Honda's British touring car drivers. Today we're going to be a little bit outside our comfort zone and Dan, my teammate and myself, are going to be given a rip in one of the Honda-powered Highfield Urban Truant ribs. So uh, really excited and looking forward to that. It's been quite a while since I've been on a boat. Hopefully I get my sea legs pretty quickly. Um, but it should be good fun. Something to, uh, to something different, you know, from what I'm used to. But uh, yeah, it should be it should be a great day and lovely lovely learning for us. My BTC experience probably isn't going to do much. Uh, I don't think today. It's uh, it's so far removed from anything I'm used to. Feeling a little bit nervous because it's it's a bit of a course. It's a test for us today, but uh, a lot of excitement. I've seen these these bad boys before, and they uh, they can get up some steam. Uh, so far, so good today. We're still dry, which is a bonus. Um, but so many other factors involved in the sailing lark. You know, uh, you've got the currents, you've got the wind. There is a lot to take in, but it's great. We've had good instruction so far, and at least we've got a good engine at the back of us. Yeah, we've done quite a bit. We've done a bit of running up and down, done a few figure of eights, a few different manoeuvres. On the water, you start to realise just how much of a difference the, the wind can make. And if you stand still for too long, you find yourself drifting quite quickly, actually. So, uh, yeah, it's been good. It's been eye-opening. It's been good fun. It's been uh, really eye-opening. It might have actually started something in me, actually. I've actually really enjoyed today. Um, it's somewhat different. It's really good fun. Um, it feels very fast on water, so if you're into your speed and you, you like to get a bit of a kick, it's multiplied by about a factor of three on the water. So I think I did 38 knots today, but it felt like about 138. The engine is phenomenal. It's when you see it out of water, it stands about eight, eight feet tall, but it's on paper it's uh, 250 horsepower, so it, it uh, delivers that power really well. Very much looking forward to tomorrow. Hopefully learn a bit more, uh, see what this boat can do behind us, and yeah, come away from here very happy. License day, I'm feeling pretty excited about it, uh, but a little nervous. We've got some map reading and uh, technical stuff to do today, so it's, I think we're going to start off in the classroom, which is, uh, was never my forte when I was at school, uh, but looking forward to it and uh, getting back out in the boat again. What am I going to do differently? I'm going to open the thing up a bit more. Dan edged me on the uh, the VMAX yesterday with uh, he went for it a bit, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to try and pick him today. It's been a challenging day again, which is great. The good thing is, is some of the techniques they've taught us on day one have, have just come back very easily. So it's. It's not quite as tricky as I thought it would be until they said we've got to uh, navigate across the big water. We've been mainly learning sort of navigation skills, uh, plotting with a compass, you know, using a map and, and really trying to pick out what danger areas we're going to run into. We've done a little bit of anchor work, so uh, you know, how to use that safely and how to get the best out of it. Struggled a little bit this morning with trying to uh, moor the boat. It, it does change depending on where you are with the uh, with the tide, uh, with the wind direction, uh, it makes it either it either helps you or it can hinder you. And this morning it hindered me for about five attempts, but uh, it's all good fun and learning a lot. Uh, well, that's it. Over the moon, we've we've got uh, a pass each. I think I found my sea legs and I've got the bug. Uh, for the future. Really enjoyed the both days and big thanks to Russ and all the guys at um, Urban Truant. Uh, we've, we've had a mega time. It's been a really enjoyable experience. I've learned a great deal. Um, you know, maybe we'll see in the future if I do a little bit more power boating. It's certainly a, an enjoyable, enjoyable thing to be doing. Almost went to jelly a couple of times out there today in the rough sea, but it was, it was great fun. I mean, I was very much a rookie, only a couple of times on a boat in, in my whole life and never, uh, never been the captain. So uh, yeah, it was good to get a, a grounding of, of how it works and, um, and progress from that into how to use it safely. So uh, yeah, I feel quite confident now to go out there myself and uh, give it a good go. Yeah. 